Hi guys, welcome to Production Realty TV. Uh, this episode is about uh, buyer's agency. Uh, recently I had a uh, client that I've been talking to for a long time call and go look at a property with the listing agent. They called the agent that was just on the on the website, uh, called and scheduled and went and looked at it. Um, it got me thinking and I did a little bit of research and uh, I pulled something up here from the National Association of Realtors. It says that of the buyers who purchased a property through a real estate agent, only 57% had buyer representation according to in, in 2010 according to NAR. Um, that's down from 62% in 2009 and 64% in 2006, which was the peak of, uh, of the market here in uh, Jackson. Only 57% had buyer representation. That's crazy. That means uh, almost half the people that bought a house in 2010 didn't have representation. This is the largest financial decision of your life. Have a buyer's agent. Which was a surprising statistic to me because having a buyer's agent is, is essentially no cost. Um, to you as a consumer. So here's the advantage is when, when you when you want to go buy a house, when you're looking to buy a house, especially if you're a first time home buyer, um, you want to have your own agent uh, that represents you and not the seller. Um, so in most cases you'll have a, um, a, an agent that's working for the seller of the property and then you'll have your own agent and that's your buyer's agent. Um, it doesn't cost you any money, we as realtors we split the commission. So whatever you buy uh, doesn't matter what house you buy. Um, if I'm representing you as your buyer's agent, I, I just get half of the uh, commission at closing. Um, so our goal is to uh, help you find a good deal um, on a property, make sure that we negotiate the property well for you, um, and then help you through the process. The process is, is you know, can be very cumbersome, um, and so we make sure that the property gets inspected well, that you're using a good lender, getting a good deal on the mortgage, um, and make sure all the all the paperwork's done correctly and you close and you shouldn't have to worry about um, anything after closing, ideally if you're using a buyer's agent. So here's the here's the problem I guess with calling the listing agent, um, like in this case with my client, is they called the listing agent and went and looked at the property with that agent. Then they, And they liked it and they called me and said, hey we went and saw this house, we really liked it, we want to um, go look at it again and, and possibly make an offer. Um, the problem is, is that they went and looked at it with the listing agent, I'm not going to get paid on that deal if they went and looked at it with somebody else. So if you want to have your own buyer's agent, and you should, it's there's every reason in the book to have your own representation, um, especially when you're making such a large purchase, uh, don't call the listing agent, especially if you have a relationship with a, buy with a buyer's agent already. Um, call them, get them to show you the property, ask them the questions on the property. Don't even call the listing agent to ask questions about it. Have your agent do that for you. It, uh, it, it protects you um, and it won't lead to any issues on who's representing who in the transaction. Uh, so remember, don't call the listing agent, call your buyer's, buyer's agent um, and have them show the property and get all the details and you should not have any issues, okay? And don't forget, it's free to have a buyer's agent. Uh, thanks for watching. This is uh, Ben Lataki uh, with Production Realty TV. Thanks.